By the way, the Norfolk bullpen is quiet. So it would appear that Cabral would come back out for the ninth inning. And what at the moment is a 1-0 Norfolk game. Dariel Alvarez now batting. He's 0 for 3. Tied center fielder. Pitch home. Swinging a foul right back. That would at 97 miles an hour. You got a left-hand hitter and a switch hitter this yeah. next inning. In the, tight, in the first three. Hunter Siriaco Cunningham scheduled 4, 5, 6 of the meet of Brian Snitker's batting order scheduled for Gwinnett in the ninth. Pitch to Alvarez. Off speed low and in. And the count at 1 and 1. Well, I know the season is very young, but uh, Fulton Evitz is best looking young pitcher I've seen this year so far. He has been very impressive. Number three prospect in the Brave system. The 1-1, one, one, swing and a miss. I'll tell you what, after about 90-some pitches and he's up in the mid-90s, that, uh, that will get your attention. 102, according to the board out at right center field now. 102 pitches, 70 strikes. Mike Fulton Evans. Here's the pitch, runner at first goes. Pitch comes up and in, and a bluff throw by Schleyhuber. He does not offer down. And a stolen bag for Paul Janish. So Janish with his first theft attempt this year. And without a throw, the Tides are now 12 of 13 on stolen base tries this season. The Tides have not had very many base runners. Not many chances to run tonight as the pitch is swung and foul down by the feet of the catcher, Schleyhuber. We've heard from manager Ron Johnson who has made it quite clear that he would like to run a lot more often this year than the club did a year ago. And he's got some people to do it. Two balls, two strikes. The count on the right-handed hitting Alvarez and the delivery is strike three called. Got him with a little cut fastball, perhaps a little movement in. Still at 93 miles an hour, though, and Alvarez has done another strikeout. That is number nine. Dan's launch a ball for Fonten Evans. 